Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talk of Pittsburgh headlines this Monday, January 15th. It is Martin Luther King Jr. Day today, and I'm here to bring you the latest of what's going on in Fitchburg, Wisconsin. We know the weather is getting really cold out there, so we want to bring you some cold weather safety reminders. So in these dangerously low temperature times, you should try and stay inside if possible and check on your friends, family, and neighbors to make sure that they're doing okay as well. If you can, you should stock a home emergency kit. And be sure to never run a gas or propane heater or grill in your home. But if you do run a generator, be sure that it's at least 20 feet from your home. So that would be located outside. Hopefully you don't have to go outside, but if you do, stay safe out there. And one reason you might actually have to go outside is to keep your fire hydrant clear of snow. Fire hydrants are a very important asset to a neighborhood, so please make sure that it's clear. We have this image for you here to show you what a clear fire hydrant looks like. We ask that you clear snow from three feet on any direction and make sure that the pathway to get to the hydrant is also clear. If the firefighters can't walk up to it, they won't be able to connect their hose. It is a holiday tree collection week. Hopefully you got your tree out to the curb on Monday at 6.30 in the morning. If you didn't, uh, you might have missed the holiday tree collection, even though it is going all week. But if, if you look around and your neighbors still have their trees out and they haven't been picked up yet, you it seems like you, you would still have a chance to get your tree out to the curb. Day collection might change due to weather, but it seems like that's happening this week. So also coming out this week is the Fitchburg Police Department monthly report for the month of December 2023. We have some stats here for you. 978 citizen calls for service. And out of those calls, officers initiated 755 of them. One person was struck by gunfire during a shots fired incident. Nine burglaries were reported and four stolen vehicles were reported. So thank you to the Fitchburg Police Department for bringing these statistics to us. We love to get them every single month. It's a great service that they provide. We'll be reporting on the January statistics at the end of the month or in February when they are released. Coming up later this week, we have the Tri-North Builders Blood Drive. That's happening this Thursday, January 18th at 10.30 a.m. That runs until 3.30 p.m. That's... Uh, sponsored by Tri-North, and it's happening through the Red Cross. That's going to be located at 2625 Research Park Drive. It's in a conference room, and uh, you can scan that QR code on your screen to get some more information. I do know that people who donate will automatically be entered for a chance to win an exciting trip to the Super Bowl in Vegas. So that that's a great opportunity to win in that contest. Um, and uh, keep in mind, you can save some time by signing up online in advance. Uh, it says you'll save about 15 minutes if you get that appointment set up online. One more appointment you might want to be setting up is with the Fitchburg Senior Center's AARP Tax Aid Program. So AARP Tax Aid volunteers will be coming to the Fitchburg Senior Center on Fridays in February. So that's for low income or elderly people with simple tax returns. We have a lot of information here about this. We know this is a really popular program, so we want to make sure you get all the information you need. If you're going to come, make sure that you have all your intake forms and instructions prepared in advance. Set aside two hours for your appointment. Your taxes will be prepared during the interviews with two different volunteers. You'll leave with a copy of your 2023 tax return, which will be electronically filed that same day. So if you're going to come, make sure you're prepared. You need to bring a signed and completely filled out intake form, bring a photo ID, social security card for everyone listed on your return, verification of income, some forms, a blank check if you want direct deposit. And if you're filing for a homestead credit, bring your 2023 original rent certificate without any mistakes and or your 2023 property tax bill. Just keep in mind that these are simple tax returns. These volunteers cannot prepare hobby income, rental income, complex brokerage statements, stuff like that. But if you are curious about your eligibility, you can call the Senior Center or you can make an appointment by calling the Senior Center after February 1st. That number is 608-270-4290. Have a great day, everyone. Stay warm and safe out there. Hopefully you don't have to go outside. We'll see you tomorrow.